Hi everyone, this is Marble and I'm one of the account executives at Tibco Spotfire in the UK and in this demonstration I'm going to be walking you through the Spotfire Cloud Consumer and our cloud business author. So the purpose of this is just to kind of give you a bit of an idea as to what these users are able to do and really what the use case for each of them is. So just to get started I'm going to log in using my account and access my library. Great. So in this mode, I'm currently an administrator. If I was solely a business author or consumer, when I access the Spotify library, all I'm going to be able to see is the folders that I've been granted access to. And within those folders, the dashboards and subsequent data, again, that I've been given access to. So these is a, it's a totally governed area whereby you allow users to only see what you believe they should be seeing if they need access to other folders and reports, it's really easy to grant them access at a later date. So uh, in this example, I'm just going to be walking you through a dashboard. As you can see, we've got access to folders uh, as well as access to dashboards. And at the side here, you can just see a quick snapshot, which I can make a bit bigger. And um, for this one, I'm just going to use this example sales dashboard. So this is as a, let's just say as a sales manager, looking over the last couple of years, uh, sales and he just wants to get a bit of insight into how his countries are performing but also how his uh, team are performing. So I'll just click here and I'll, I'll put it on my dashboard. Great, okay, just get rid of the filters panel. So when we look at this, just to give you a bit of a walkthrough, so this is something that we kind of class as a, a bit of a KPI board. Um, it's just performance indicators. Here I've had created a, a country view using our maps, um, which allows me to see quite click, uh, quickly. The darker the blue, the more sales that country made in comparison to the rest. So you can see Sweden's quite light and that's only done 1.07 million pounds worth of sales. Whereas you can see potentially, let's just say the UK, uh, that's done 23 uh, 24, sorry, 0.53 million in sales over the last couple of years. And if I wanted to change that, so as a, I'm seeing the full time span within our filters panel, which we could make accessible through a text area up here, I can quickly change this to say just the last year, so from the 1st of January. Get rid of that. And now when I look back at my, at my sales, this data is now going to be different. So as opposed to 23 million as it was, you can ask that it's 15.04. But again, it looks pretty similar. Uh, Sweden again, unfortunately, lagging behind. Um, but as we as we drill into the data, we can find out a little bit more insight. So let's just say I'm the UK and Ireland sales manager in this instance. I can select both of them here. Or if I want to select a couple of different ones, I'm going to select just these two. Then I get a breakdown, Ireland clearly not performing too well. We can see that which products categories it's selling and again, um, quite clearly the, the level of which it's selling as well. So if we were to, let's just say, highlight, um, I don't know, category one in Q1 for the United Kingdom, I then get a breakdown of my sales reps and what products within that product category they were selling. So product A, B and C, nice and generic. Um, and we can see Buddy Holly here, uh, who's a real person, I'm sure. Um, what then the underlying data is for that deal. So I can see that he sold $23,000. Um, it was into the north west, east region. And again, it was um, representative for the FSI sector. So again, this could be this could be a couple of people that I may want to look at, including little Richard down here. And again, it just gives you that quick snapshot of how to really quickly go from a countrywide level to a quarter by quarter, and then into the actual reps and what the underlying data is, which make up their sales. So again, if if I wanted to see this maybe as opposed to on a quarter basis, but by year, Spotfire automated this hierarchy. So when I'm dragging across into my quarters and into my months, this wasn't something as an analyst I had to do. This was something that Spotfire recognized in the data and smartly recommended that 
this may be a good way of looking at it. So again, I've got my UK stats, but if I was to change this to France, I'm just looking at France, snapshot of the total sales and the breakdown by quarters over the last year. Um, and again, if I was to just click on one of these or maybe all of these, I can see that. Equally, I might want to take this and put it in a report myself or on an email, and I can export that image to then be used and sent across to any of my colleagues that may need to see this that don't have access to this dashboard. And again, this is something that if I drilled into further, so let's just say I limited this to, I don't know, the last the last two, three months, if I go back to the 1st of October, I get the last three months. And again, this is now uh, limiting me back to just see this data. So apparently I didn't sell anything, so that's not going to be too useful. <laughs> Let's just reset that filter. Lovely. Okay, so as a consumer, I've got a, a couple of abilities here, so I can export any images, I can interact with the data, I can start a conversation if I so wish. I've already made a conversation quite a while ago um, mentioning that Sweden needs to pull its weight, which it clearly does. Um, so again, I could, as a sales manager, make a comment here, mentioning, you know, great performance by the UK. Uh, Nordics, we need to discuss how we improve here. And then anyone that accesses this dashboard that has access to it will be able to see that there's a couple of comments here when they open up the uh, when they open up the report and they'll be able to click see what I'm saying and then reply to me uh, using their using their details so again you can have a nice conversation and get some collaborative actions from a dashboard as well and if I were to utilize this feature as a consumer which is our bookmarking feature that means that I may just want to be looking at I don't know a certain country so I can filter down to my countries um, I may just want to look at, say, France, uh, I don't know, France, Germany, France, Germany, just those two regions. Um, and I can see that they're completely filtered down here. If I look at these two areas, see a breakdown. But again, this might be the view that I need uh, as, as these countries' managers. So I can just make a new bookmark, make this my rename this to my France and Germany sales view. And then again, if I were to just reset my filters, maybe even resize my screen, so if I wanted to change this to however I wanted to see, reset my filters, which I can do quite easily down here. But then I click back into my bookmarks, look at my France and Germany sales view, resizes the page, and brings me again back to that view that I had previously. So quite a nice feature if you've got a lot of different things going on on the page and you need a quick snapshot that really focuses in on what you need to see. So that's the consumer view, and again, um, the ability to export this this whole this whole page as a PDF or an image, and um, print, share this if I need to. Uh, I'm able to quite easily do that, as well as resize the page to maybe fit better on my on my screen. Uh, if I have, say, the need to use a mobile app, I can do that without requiring the intervention of the analyst. So here I have this edit button, which you'll see now says enable authoring. So when I click this, I then become a, a business author in Spotify Cloud. So within here, previously when I right clicked on any of the visualizations, I would just be able to export image or start a conversation. But now I've got the ability to change. I, I can change any of these charts I wish. Um, so if I wanted to change this map chart over to a, I don't know, over to a bar chart. Uh, great, I'm just seeing the, uh, the Tulsa as well country and that's all of them. Good. Um, however, I can now access my data panel quite easily at the top and I can make my own dashboards and my own reports. So at the minute I'm looking at this quite quite easily. Click in between. I'm going to reset my filters just so I can see everything. 
at the minute I've got my forecast category on the bottom. I might want to, instead of having my forecast category on the bottom, I might want to see my product category. That's just a drag and drop away. And again, this is now my row count. Maybe I don't want to see that, I want to see the sales. So now I'm starting to get a bit of insight. And all these different colors are my country. So if I click on Belgium, everything gets filtered into Belgium. Apparently, Gore Vidal is the only sales guy in Belgium, and he just enjoys selling product A. <laughs> so if we were to again have a little look and maybe include the United Kingdom in this, we now again get that double split. You can clearly see that the UK is performing really well in category 4 and 5. And again, the sales over the last years, again, if I wanted to just drill into 4 and 5 here too, I can now really see that highlight. And then again, this is filtered into the reps and within category four and five, what kind of products they're selling. So we've got a, a really quick way of just manipulating this. Uh, again, this is just a case of drag, drop. You can see that we want to break things down by product category. We can choose to trellis this using a panel trellis so that we can see all of them nice and easily. And again, this is across not the easiest to see there, so let's maybe make these look like this. Nice clear indication of, of price. If we were to click on this, I can set the data to show me the information underlying. So just in, uh, in our data, you can see that at the minute I'm just marking, and these are then being responded. But I can also choose to look at my labels and for macro, see the information that's underlying. So nice and easy. And again, if I were to select a couple, I can see their breakdowns as well. That's not to say I can't always have them on. I just think it looks uh, looks a bit messy and be quite distracting. So when you do bring them all in, you can see everything. But again, it's not giving you the picture that's, that's really just highlighting what you're looking at and focusing on that one moment in time. So I typically choose to use the marked rows. So yeah, nice and, nice and easy to resize these just to get the full glimpse of the data. And again, drilling in is nice and easy. It's just a click, drill in. If I didn't want to look at these by months, I've got a whole host of different ways that I can see this. I can even go down to the day of the month because I have that option available. And again, if I want to just look at this by month, potentially just look at my, my date. Do the search quickly just make this the last year or so, which I think this may be closed date, so if I just drag that over, there we go, so as opposed to the date that the opportunity was made, we're now looking at the closed date for the opportunity, um, and again if I just change this down to the last year or so, Seeing, oh, I've got my subsets. Let me just remove that. There we go. So I've got all my underlying data. So this is all the data from 2014 through to 2017. And we've just got a nice, easy look over the data here. So again, as a business author, I can do a little bit more. I can create a new page, I can use our recommendations engine. And within here, I can, again, start making my reports. So I may just want a, a nice look at all the countries, maybe looking at the, the total amount of sales. And when I do this, I get recommended the best ways of looking at the data. So it gives me some tree maps, some pie charts, some, some cross tables. I may just want to see a big cross table. Something that I can quickly add things to, take away, so at the minute I'm just seeing countries and the sum total of the sales. So this is something that Spotify is doing on the fly, there's no grand total column, it's created these. Um, so again, if maybe I wanted to look at, well, I don't know, the product category, I can just drag this up to the top here, and it gets included. If I then want to see the underlying products in each of those categories, just add that to the side. And again, quite quickly, we can now get a view for that's nice. So we can now get a view for the category one, the different products, what they're selling in what country, and a 
breakdown of, of the grand totals. So again, it's it's just that that real ease of change is just here. Um, instead of looking at that, I may want to look at the rep name. Get my breakdown. Instead of looking at the countries here, I'm going to look at the countries up here, and then potentially just change that to be my product category on on the left axis. Again, really easy way of just combing through the data, getting a clear picture. If you wanted to then do a drill down, we could potentially just do a drill down into a table so that whenever we select one of these results, a couple, we can see what the underlying data is that's giving us that total and that amount, just to get more and again more information. Okay. So again, as a business author, I now have the access to save. So if I'm happy with my report and I haven't wanted to change anything. Um, I've made a new page, I've made a bit more of a drill down. I can now decide, actually I'd, um, I'd like to save this. So I can get a save, save as. So this is gonna use the same data source that the example sales dashboard is but it's then any time that may be automated to update and show more data and give me the the, uh, the most up-to-date information that I can get, then it will also update my dashboard. So if I just say this is Mark's dashboard, save it to the library. Perfect, so now this is mine and I can maybe change this if I don't want to see a few of these pieces of information. Just nice and easily change that, resize the page change things around but again there's there's a few other things so within here I've I've got the let's just say the sales when this comes through this just comes through as an integer using my data wrangling panel I may want to change this to to use a currency but also I could just format it so that it gives me the appearance of currency quite easily within here so I know that the money uh, amount that I'm looking at is in pounds, so I can change that. Use the short number format for, uh, for aesthetic appeal. And then this now, whenever any other data comes in that may be part of this column, it will again be reformatted in the same way, making it nice and easy to interpret and, uh, and comb through. So this was a, uh, a guided tour into our consumer and business author. I hope this is helpful for you, and if you do have any questions, I'll, I'll put my, my details up at the end so that you can reach out to me and, and ask away. I look forward to speaking to you again soon, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.